TCS comes up with the results tomorrow and we'll talk about the result expectations in the nugget section today. Hi everyone, welcome to the update of 9th October. The bulls which came out of ICU yesterday, they tried to make a comeback, beat the bears around, but the bears took full control at least in the key stocks. The market however remained green, most of the variables are in control right now, no big uncertainty. So the number of reds was pretty low compared to usual, about 30%. Today, Pharma was on a tier led by DV's lab. It has got a major upgrade. The target is 6400, I think from Citibank. Siemens and ABB continued the good run. In fact, they cooled down a bit. They were again up nearly 5% today. DMART, which was down literally for a month, that made a comeback with 4% uptick. Crude down, so Indigo was up. Nifty 50 also had Pharma at the top, Cipla 2.5% gain. Trend continued the good run from yesterday, 2.2% up. Today, Tata Motors and Maruti also were pretty strong from the auto pack. This is the peak season for auto. Navratras are on, the sales have to be maximum. Today, one sector which was in really bad shape was consumption. Despite the run of the beers, the market was still looking good. Two sectors among the large ones were down, oil and gas and the power pack. The best sector today also was heavy machinery, primarily ABB, Siemens and CG Power. The sector which has done best in the last two weeks, diversified retail, which is Trent, followed by heavy machinery. The big sectors, software and auto actually haven't done anything in terms of gains for the investors in last two weeks. Banking has given negative returns. So has the power pack and oil and gas. Note that in today's graph, I made a small change. The recent performance, which is today has higher weight compared to the performance 10 days back. So the trend looks even better if the stock has been up in the last two, three days. Trend up 2% today, best sector, best stock in terms of investor gains. The sector of the day perhaps was pharma, 10 o'clock. This is approximately the time when RBI governor declared that interest rates will not change. The markets immediately went in recovery mode, went up till about 11.30 and then came the fall. Today was also bank expiry. The trading range was 1.1%. Bank Nifty's gain was even sharper. Look at the spike, 51,000 to 51,600. The trading range for Bank Nifty, 1.5%. Bank Nifty also did not do too much for that day. Reliance came under profit booking today, 1.7% down. TCS was above the line. However, it did not look strong at all for the entire day. Infosys, however, made a new all-time high that was looking good. But then came profit booking, which brought Infosys down to the closing levels of yesterday. Banks are looking okay. ICICI was up. So was SBI. HDFC Bank, however, came under profit booking. ITC in the top stocks had the biggest cut, 3% down. The NBFCs were looking good, Bajaj Finance up, PFC, IRFC. Tomorrow it's TCS results, but everyone else was celebrating in advance. Tech Mahindra 2%, Oracle 4%, InfoEdge another high, 1.5%. Defense only one stock today stood out, Zen Technologies 7% up. Metal back, NMDC and Hindalco were up a little, rest everyone was down. Varun Beverages was up a lot, it actually opened at the highest point of the day, but then it corrected. Nestle down, ITC down, Britannia down. One stock which was up was Radico Khetan, 6.2% up, went up like a rocket towards the later part of the day. Non edible consumption stocks, HUL was down severely today also. Look at the trend of HUL last 11 days, including today. Only one green day. Titan was up a lot, but then it cooled down. Trent made a new high, it went up, consolidated. Fidelight was up, but then it came down. Page Industries made another high towards the last part of the day, 4%. Gillette also was up whole day. So non-edible was a lot better than the edible in the consumption pack. One sector which was on fire today was investment banking. HDFC AMC up 4.3%. BSC corrected a bit, but that was towards the end. And this was not before BSC made another high. Motel Oswal up another 5% today also. Nippon AMC up. 361 up 4%. CDSL went up like a rocket, 8%. Whatever I'm selling, you can comfortably buy. They go up in just two, three days from that time I sell. Kfin Technologies up 2.5%. Though most commodities, including crude, corrected yesterday severely towards the end of the US market hours. The oil pack was not doing well. Reliance down 1.7%. ONGC down 1.7%. Now, oil marketing companies should have shot up. They didn't. Opening at the highest point of the day, but cool down for the most of the day. Torrent was amazing today. It has got a new order, 2 gigawatt storage from Maharashtra government. 
looking at the gains of nifty and bank nifty it may seem like an ordinary day no it wasn't it was up for the fifth consecutive day this is the anticipation in retail and dis for the upcoming results of tcs energy down one percent next 50 up one percent auto up one percent FIS did the usual business, sold 5,000 crore. They have made a half century, 50,000 crore, nearly. TIS touched the 50,000 mark, bought 3,500 crore. They are soaking the entire supply of FIS. TIIs are the most optimistic lot in the entire world right now. The bad news, CAPEX loan disbursements face election related delay in September quarter. I have always talked about Lok Sabha elections. Now government is also talking about delays in CAPEX because of the Vidhan Sabha elections. So don't expect Q2 as well as Q3 to look any better. Q4 for sure will also be gone because CAPEX have long cycles. Cement makers also are staring at a grim Q2 amid near decade low prices and weak demand. I've been talking about weak demand, not prices as of now. That is why I always talk about construction sector and cement together. Adani Enterprises is doing what they are good at, fantastic at rather, raising $2 billion using QIP. This will be a 4 or 5% kind of loan. One thing to note, there is no LNT in the top 10. There is HCL Technologies. LNT has fallen so much that HCL Tech, by virtue of its market cap, has overtaken LNT and enter the top 10 us markets were all good yesterday that is because the commodities melted in indian market however gold was up today continues to be above 75000 silver nearly 90000 bitcoin above 62000 brent nearly at 78 this actually was around 74 yesterday night a divided day for nifty sbi airtel maruti tata motors bajaj finance they were the toppers Bottom was mostly consumption, Nestle, HUL, HDFC, ITC and Reliance is back at the bottom. Next 50 was better, 35 stocks up, 15 down. DV's Lab was the best stock today, up 8%, Siemens next, 4%. ABB and Siemens have moved a lot in the last 2-3 days. Siemens is in the green zone now, DMART was up, so was Macrotech developers. Bottom today was Adani Power, Hevels, Adani Green, Shri Cement and Adani Energy. Union Bank of India is in red. It is the second farthest stock from the 52 week high now. In the power pack, there was only one stock which moved today Torrent Power because of the mega order it got. Look at the volumes 8x. Torrent's P is suddenly double of NTPC power grid. Even Adani Power is behind it. Oil and gas, only two stocks were down, but they are the biggest ones Reliance and ONGC. In the oil marketing companies, I have noticed HPCL which is the smallest does the best usually whenever the oil marketing companies are going up. When ITC, Nestle and Britannia are down anywhere between 1.5 to 3%, consumption pack can't do anything, it was down 2% today, that too on huge volumes. HUL also down 2%, Colgate in the green zone, Godfrey Phillips has started climbing again 3% up, Aerospace and Defense was green today 0.4% up for the sector, every stock is at least 20% away from the 52 week high now, Auto today every other stock was up but MNM was down, so was Bajaj Auto, volumes were shallow however, in the banking pack HDFC was down a percent, minor downticks in Kotak and Geo Financial, chemical sector did not go anywhere, coal down, LNT and RVNL both corrected 1.3% in the construction pack. Cement pack was severe today, only Ambuja up a little. Rent up 2%, Kefin up 2.5%. DMART which has been down off late, it was up 4% today. Hotels are entering the quarter which is the best season for them. Sea of Green, the best performer Lemon Tree, 5%. Household goods has still not picked up. This should be the best quarter for household goods also. Short covering in insurance. ABB is 3% short of a green now, Hevels 4%. Once that is done, this sector will look pretty strong, the volumes are picking up. A bull run in the economy needs this sector to be firing in all cylinders. Metals was a mixed bag, but the top stocks were all red. Renewable energy was really strong as a sector, up 4%. Softer looking green, so did specialty retailers, Kalanjolers up 1.6%. Today, ATL came back 1.2%. ATL is nearing the green zone now. Vodafone has broken my logic today. It is saying 108% away from 52 week high. Page Industries made another high up 4%. Titan did not go anywhere. My trading date, I exited ABV. It had already gone up 10% in the last two days, including today. 
I was stuck with nearly 5-6 lakh rupees investment in a deep loss in ABB for last several months. Today I exited nearly at no profit, no loss. It is okay to not make money, but I freed up significant capital. Persistent, I met my goal 5% as a trading target. If TCS results are not good tomorrow, the entire IT sector will correct. So I didn't want to take that risk. I'm happy to miss the next 4-5% uptick, but don't want to risk my capital getting stuck till the next result season. I bought BSC and Nuwama Wealth for trading purposes. I might sell them tomorrow or Friday. Won't take them to next week mostly. So this is a profitable day. Time for the results of TCS and the nugget for today. The first big result for the season. I tried to find if there's any new big order I couldn't find on the internet. So sales wise, I expect slightly down or the similar numbers to the last quarter. Nothing major. Even if it is up, it will be small number only in terms of uptick. Cost which is primarily employees that would have gone down. Most companies have delayed the joining of freshers. Most companies have delayed promotions. Most companies have delayed onboarding or hiring of new employees. This is not TCS alone. This is across the board in IT. So employee cost will be low compared to previous quarter. This is Q on Q as well as year on year. EPS will remain stationary by virtue of sales and cost. Or I expect TCS to do some jugglery and EPS to be up this time because last quarter also the results were ordinary two ordinary quarters and the stock will get re-rated on the downward side i don't think tcs management board or cfo would want that so extraordinary items expect something that will take eps up to keep the investors excited dividend should be good whatever they earn as eps most of it may go out as dividend which means close to 100 percent dividend payout ratio for this quarter i'm not expecting a bonus at this stage because the results are not going to be that bad that it requires the bonus to salvage the results a little buyback if the sales numbers are not good at all something like a one percent two percent buyback number wise june 24 june 23 these are the reference quarters the sale went up from 59.3 thousand crores to 62.6. This was buy on buy last quarter. I expect this quarter around 61. This is a little pessimist number. If they have cried any big deal which is not publicly available, then this number would be somewhere around 64k probably, 64,000 crores. Employee cost 35.1 became 36.4. This probably will go down. This again in 1000 crores, somewhere around 34 to 35,000 crores. The cost, which was 59.2% of sales in June 23, that had already reduced to 58%. That was last quarter. I expect it to be something like 56% this quarter. I expect other expenses to be really low, probably somewhere like 4,000, 5,000 crore. This will create a dent in the EPS number because this percentage is significant. See here, 14.7% reducing to 11.8%. This will probably be something like 7% or something. Profit 11.1 thousand crore, 12.1 thousand crore, something similar 12,000 crore probably. If any extraordinary item is there, then this could go up to 13,000 crore also. But for that, you will need an extraordinary item. Ordinary sales and ordinary profit will not do. EPS, probably something like a 34.5. That is because of the financial jugglery, not because of better sales or better profitability. Now, what is the problem facing TCS? Not alone for TCS, but in general. See, after cloud, nothing big has come up. The world is talking about AI, Gen AI. And I've been in this space for many, many years. So I understand this space pretty well as an ex three times chief technology officer. This is not selling. This is not making money for customers. Most customers expect Gen AI and AI to save cost or replace people. Whoever is replacing people also, they are not able to get the job done ultimately. No one is able to admit that AI Gen AI is not working out because no one is finding the next big thing also. The next big thing which was expected was data analytics. This requires data scientist, data analyst. These are very short in number and very expensive. So no one is selling data. No one is selling analytics. People are selling what is ready made, packaged, canned. You just apply it to your software and magic will happen. This is happening across the board, across the industry. I am generalizing too much. It is not that AI Gen AI is useless. It is very useful when done the right way. Hope this nugget section was useful. And this time I don't have skin in the game. I have not purchased TCS shares. I still hold a bit of persistent in my portfolio, but that's for the long term. No other IT stock in my portfolio for this season. I don't have very high conviction. Thanks for watching and I'll cover the outcome of the results in tomorrow's nugget. I will see you tomorrow.